First and foremost, we want to thank the town crew for getting these fields in the shape that they're in today to be able to play. From last Saturday and all of this week, as you all know, we had several inches of rain and fields were not playable. They worked all week to get them 
looking like they do today. Also, several volunteers make this league run. And at this time, I'd like to introduce the 2023 Board of Directors for Penfield Little League. Dan Wright, Dan Watson, Brian Carnavali, Tom Baxter, Brian Ray, Jeff Lemuti, Andy Struzik, Leo Fusilli, Mike Scazzaro, Matt Balowski, Adam Cornelius, Dan Dunn, Dan Francis, Dan Lanning, Dan Skaversky, Dan Tidings. You guys see a theme there? Don Caliccio, Jamie Myrna, Jennifer Maltby, Jess DeWitt, Jim Decker, John Garino, John Rizzo, Josh Fredley, Kyle Dunno, Mike Shivari, Mike DePaul, Natalie Bertrand, Nikki Albright, and Tom Leonardo. And the last board member I will introduce is Greg Camp, who I will turn this over to now as our Master of Ceremonies. Hi everybody and welcome to the 71st Penfield Little League opening day. As Mike said, I'm Greg Camp and I'm a past president here at Penfield Little League and I want to join in welcoming everybody here. You know, Penfield baseball and softball is the oldest youth sports organization in the greater Rochester area and there is no other tradition more anticipated than opening day. For me, it's like Christmas. I want to take a moment to thank our players, our families, friends, sponsors, elected officials who are here today. I want to thank them for joining us. And of course, our own Penfield Fire Department. Guys, thank you for everything you do for our community. As Mike said, the league operates on a volunteer basis. Every board member gives their time and energy to this league. And we're really thrilled to be here on opening day. We also couldn't successfully operate without the support of our sponsors. We appreciate every team sponsor, every sponsor that brought signage, advertises on our streaming site, or supports any number of special projects around the complex. Over the coming months, we'll be recognizing each of them on our Facebook page, so please check them out. But I do want to call out a few of them who really stepped up this year. Wegmans, Total Sports Experience, Dix, the Brett and Julie team at WCI Realty, Bill Graves, Dick Eye, Rochester Bath and Kitchen, and RDG and Partners. Thank you again for being sponsors of the Little League. You know, sometimes in our Little League family, sad things happen. We need to acknowledge the passing of one of our own. Mateo Laco, who played for the Blue Jays last year in our rookie league, has passed away. I now ask everyone to bow their heads and have a moment of silence in remembrance of Mateo.
Thank you. What I'd like to do now is have the parent pledge and the player pledge be read, representing all players and all parents. Can I have Elizabeth Harris out here? And Max Ray. Elizabeth, why don't you read the parent pledge? I will teach all children to play fair and do their best. I will positively support all managers, coaches, and players. I will respect decisions of umpires. I will praise a good effort, deposit, outcomes of the game. Thank you, Elizabeth. And Paris, please take heed. Any issues this year, you got to deal with Elizabeth. And here is Max Ray to give the player pledge. He is representing all players today. I trust in God. I love my country and will respect its laws. I will play fair and strive to win, but win or lose, I will always do my best. Thanks, Max. Great job. At this moment, I just want to acknowledge two of our elected officials here today. Paul Dondorfer. Paul, if you're out there, give a wave. And also, Mark Johns. Thank you for everything you guys do for our league and for our town. You know, we are really, really honored to have a great relationship with the town of Penfield. Few leagues across the country can claim a better relationship with their towns. Our Deputy Superintendent, Debbie Draw, and the full board is at another event that they had to do, but we want to acknowledge them, so please, let's give our town board and our supervisor a big round of applause. Also want to quickly uh, acknowledge Billy Bow from our Benfield Little League Summer Camp and Steve Pace for the Steve Pace, Pace baseball camps that take place in the summer, and also Dan Watson for the softball camps. Thanks, guys. Each year on opening day, Penfield Little League honors a person, a team, or a sponsor who has contributed their time, their passion, and make our kids priority all season long. Today is no different. Our honoree is someone who has truly given so much to this organization. He always said yes when the league came to him with a new idea or a plan. I was very fortunate enough to work with him for 14 years as president. He worked with us during the big tournaments that the league hosted. He spoke on our behalf with the media to explain how tournaments have a positive effect on our community. And let's not forget, he gladly, frequently supported our concession stand. He ate his dinner here on more nights than you can imagine in between meetings. He'd always make sure he'd catch a couple innings of ball too. Today, Penfield Little League thanks and honors our former superintendent, Tony LaFound. Tony, come on out. And Tony, before I let you say a few words, you will be receiving this plaque. Penfield literally honors Tony LaFound for his ongoing dedication and support of the league players and the families of Penfield. We have it dated from last week, but you'll have to excuse us for that. And it's opening day Grand Marshal, Tony LaFound. Congratulations. Good morning. This is a true honor. I, I want to thank uh, Greg, Mike, and the entire board uh, for this uh, wonderful honor and very humble. Uh, we're so fortunate to have probably the best 
the best complex uh, in the region. And it's uh, because a lot of you have assisted over the years. Uh, parents, sponsors, the board of directors, and uh, I look forward to uh, many more trips uh, here to the concession stand, many more innings of baseball, and I uh, look forward to a great 2023 season. Again, thank you. Thank you, Tony, and everything that you've done for our community. All right, we're getting close to baseball and softball now. Right now, I'd like to introduce Jason Harris. He is the pastor at Browncroft Community Church, and he will provide our invocation for today. Pastor Harris. Let us pray together. Gracious and Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day and for the great game of baseball. Lord, we thank you for the way that you have provided for the history of Penfield Little League, and we pray your blessing on this season to come. Lord, we pray uh, over each player, every young man and woman who is going to be playing this season. Lord, uh, we, play, we pray for safety, we pray for health, and Lord, we pray uh, that you would help each of us build character and sportsmanship. Lord, we pray for the parents. Uh, we pray that you would give them rest and balance as they traverse through the fields and to rosies. And Lord, we pray for the coaches, that they would be great models for each young man and women this season. And so, Lord, we pray over and that you would bless this season of Penfield Baseball and Salt. Amen. Thank you very much. Okay, here's the rest of the program. We're going to do some first pitches in our national anthem. But first, what I want to tell all you players, every player in the league, thanks to our sponsors, We'll get a free hot dog, chips, and soda today. The only stipulation is, is that for players to get that free meal, you've got to go up to the blue tent up on the hill across from Rosie's concession stand. And there's also one out by the softball fields. So go to the tents to get your free stuff. Not yet, though. So it's time for our first pitches of the 2023 Little League season. And I'm going to ask that Zara Patimo come out to throw the first pitch for our softball program. And her catcher is going to be Mad Dog Myrna. All right, Zara, get yourself set. All right, great job, Zara, and great job there, Mad Dog. I definitely would not want to face her. And now for the baseball side, I'm going to bring back Tony LaFountain, who will catch or who will throw out the first pitch, and he will have a catcher of Max Ray. Jude Wise, I'm sorry, I apologize. Jude Wise will be the catcher. Tony tells me he was in the bullpen at 7 o'clock this morning. All right. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Jude. Appreciate it. Now I'd like to introduce our very own Dan Stavursky, who will perform our national anthem. Please look out at the flag, either in right field or the flag in center field. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Great rendition, Dan. Appreciate it. Okay, players, don't forget your hot dogs and snacks. Blue tent, both on softball field and the baseball field. So there's only one thing left to do. What do you guys think it is? Let's play baseball. And let's play softball too. Woo!